Residents of Ofada, Mowe, Ibafo, Magboro, all along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway were quite expectant when IBEDC promised them power supply by December 2015. It never happened for so many reasons, as explained by the management of Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company. Well, transformers are still hanging without power, as seen in this photo sent in to our portal. Once again, the people have been offered another promise by management of IBEDC, and we're keeping tabs on development. Uh, two sources of power supply. This meeting is between representatives of over 100 community development associations and the management of IBEDC. The maintenance of substations, the responsibility is that of IBEDC. They've come to speak the language that people want to hear, with the hope it would be backed with action. This community has really tried. They have tried to make sure we have power in this area. Honestly, I want to give it to them. If I choose to live anywhere again, if, even if VGC is open for me, I would still prefer to live with these people because of the cooperation. So I really give it to them. I appreciate them. Because you see, they, they, they speak the same language, they, we are, we are like-minded uh, people, we see our problem as uh, uh, one. So, uh, I, when they gave us power from uh, Agbado Kiaro, we monitor it, but unfortunately, the contractor was just, I don't know how to describe him just to run a, 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 a project he, 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 he was supposed to finish within seven months. This is the fourth year he refused to finish it and we have been in darkness since that time. They've laid electric cables, bought transformers, all with their hard-earned money. But for over five years, some of them haven't had power. All this line you are seeing, the transformer, the pole, it is community effort. We have spent over 400 million to erect our pole, to put our line, which is 33 kV lines on a, 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 in post. Only last year, they were told that by December power would be restored, but it ended up a mirage, followed by expansion. All efforts to get the line energized on the 23rd of um, December, two days before Christmas, failed. Incidentally, most of the stakeholders, that is, the Community Development Association chairman, they followed up all these processes. So we discovered, eventually discovered some anomalies on the line, and we are rectifying the anomalies. It's almost a year after that botched hope. Management of IBDC has returned with a promise to energize them in six weeks. We are trying to let them know that we want to bring power supply back to Moweba for Axis by Christmas time this year. And the reason is not far-fetched because initially the line that is being constructed from Okearo to Magoro, which is about 40 kilometers away, ought to serve the community far better than the existing line that is serving the community now because the existing line now is coming all the way from Abeokuta and it passes through so many villages. However, the inadequacies uh, that the Okearo line has, has made that line not to be energized up till date. However, work is still ongoing on it. But because that one cannot work for this December, we have decided to now construct a new line that will hook up with an existing line from Abe Okuta Transmission Station. The Abe Okuta Transmission Station is newly commissioned and is nearer to Mowe Bafo than the former one that is uh, feeding the location. So that is the reason why we have come to engage the community to let them know what we are doing and we have taken some of their leaders to site. They've seen the work that is being done there, they've seen the polls, they've seen all the materials on ground and incidentally they met the contractor on ground, they were able to talk with the contractor and they were well satisfied with what they saw. It's a ray of hope for them, but they wouldn't want to be disappointed this time around. If we have to look at the past uh, promises, you know, we cannot say uh, our people that are skeptical, it's not their fault because they have promised, I know they promised us that December 23rd last year that we should give them just two weeks, December 23rd, two weeks, we are in November.
Currently, it becomes very difficult for residents and business owners to operate in these areas as the economic cost is too high. Henry, for instance, is a businessman who packages water. He has had to purchase four generating set in order to run his business. As we are using diesel here, we use diesel also at home. We use petrol, at least in, the, in a month at home, because I, do, I can't maintain diesel at home again. So I, I, I used to use a just small generator for, to power my house, and I spent more than 120000 150000 at times on just petrol alone. So this has been giving us serious obstacles and problems. In fact, it's just, we are just hoping that God will intervene in the matter. And this other lady deals in food stuff and frozen food items. It hasn't been easy for her either. She tells us how much of impact this has had on her business. If you check my freezers now, all the food stuffs, all the all the products, all the food pro, frozen food stuffs that I have, they are all they are not well freezed. Based because of this uh, electricity. Most of these residents migrated from Lagos with their cars and other property, which they cannot lay claim to anymore. Several times, my house will have got burned by using a stove iron. So at times, even though charcoal iron that I, I quickly turn to charcoal iron, that at times the cover we, when we want to handle the charcoal iron, the, everything we just pull out, the the charcoal we just pour on the ground. So even though my I came here with about three freezer. Today, rat has destroyed all the three freezer because I work in Cabri by then. I have money to buy all the necessary thing as to go into my own house as a landlord. But today, I'm not, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's worrisome. It's, it's not a good place to live. But if government come to our aid to help us to do some road and to give us light, we, the Lara Association, will be able to do more and more. Will life become better for the household here? Will respite come their way anytime soon? It's already sunset. What comes next is total darkness. The people look forward to a period when they can stay out beyond sunset because the streets are lit up and security strengthened. The six weeks promise elapses in December. We hopefully would be here to celebrate with these communities. Until then, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Don't forget the Eyewitness Portal is available whenever you have a story to tell or share. Simply download the Channels TV app, tap on the Eyewitness icon and follow instruction on how to get your photo or video uploaded. Always endeavor to add a form of contact such as email or phone numbers to enable us to get in touch with you and follow up on your story. Right now, let's see some of those you posted for the week. Our first photo of the day comes from John in Ibadan. It shows a refuse dump along the Iwo Road overhead bridge. Our eyewitness is asking residents to stop dumping refuse in such places. Next is a photo of a dilapidated Christ Apostolic Church Junior Grammar School of Bomosho, your state. Our eyewitness thinks we only pay lip service to education in this country, judging by what most schools have become. Akiyemi is disturbed by the level of vandalism meted on public facilities such as the fence at Tipa bus stop K2. He thinks this is an act that shouldn't be condoned. Endeavour Crescent in Ijeshatedu, Lagos turned into a refuse dump. Our eyewitness is calling on residents to avoid health hazards by ensuring waste are properly disposed of. Now, that's so much we have for you today on Eyewitness Report. Do keep those photos and videos coming in, and we promise to keep our eyes on you. I'm Chris Elems. Bye-bye.